Hey folks, this is John Miller, Executive Editor with WV News. We would like to welcome you to Ask the Experts, featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwv.com. And now live from the studios of the Exponent Telegram in Clarksburg, West Virginia, let's Ask the Expert. Welcome to Ask the Expert with John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John, people work hard to reach a certain point in their lives and in their final days may be wondering what will continue their legacy. What's the importance of a living trust? You know what? Anybody who's ever settled in an estate, John, knows that probate is one of the hardest things you have to go through. Because, you know, what probate is, is basically the proving of your estate. So here's how the process works. Let's say your parents just passed away, okay? Now, whoever the executor of the estate is has to go report it at the courthouse that, hey, look, I've lost my parent. And they're going to say anybody who has any outstanding debts, anybody who makes a claim, anybody who wants to do anything against this estate is now it's open for that. And so you're like, you know, you're like a duck sitting on a pond waiting to get shot because now anybody can go make a claim, whether it's good or bad. And if they do make the claim, then you have to hire an attorney to go defend what you believe is rightfully yours. So that's what the probate process is. And so in West Virginia, it's not that they charge a tax or anything, but it's very timely and very public. You know, one of the things that I know, I have a lot of professionals who work in the forestry business, who work in the real estate business, who work in lots of things. And all they do is they comb the courthouse. And I say comb the courthouse. Today you can do it digitally. And they look for people who just passed away. And knowing that these estates, you know, don't have enough people to claim them. And so they want to come in and buy this land. And they may have already gone out and looked to see that, look, these people have all kinds of forestry on their property. And so they want that opportunity to buy it. And so if, we, if it wasn't in probate, they couldn't even have that opportunity. So if you're wanting to avoid probate, the number one thing with a living trust is it allows you to bypass the probate process. And so that's a huge, huge thing with the living trust. How, do, how does that work? How does it bypass probate? So what happens is, is that you personally own assets. And so because you personally own assets, you also as a human, you pass away. And so when you die, you're now a dead person. And so now someone can come in and claim the assets. A trust doesn't die. It's a living trust. And so what happens is, is that the assets own your trust. So as an example, uh, my wife and I have a living trust. And so instead of owning something by John and Lisa Halterman personally, it can be owned by the John and Lisa Halterman Family Living Trust. So what that means is that while we're living, we get to control and do everything we want with these assets, okay? But upon our death, the trust doesn't die. We die. And so we named the executor trustee. And so what happens is the executor trustee steps in and does everything that we wanted him to do. And so simply because we pass away, the trust is still alive. It continues as whatever we wanted. And so we can have instructions for it to be dispersed at that time. It can continue on and be owned assets by the trust. There's a lots of variations that you can do with a living trust. Now, in addition to that, what I always tell people is we can add a B trust. And I say we, not just myself, because I'm not an attorney, so I don't do this, but I work with a team of attorneys that will help you formulate the best type of trust. So there's various other trusts that you can work in conjunction. These trusts can do everything from making sure that if you have grandchildren, that you can create a perpetual income for the rest of their life. They can make sure that you um, help in paying any estate taxes, because today, estate taxes, the threshold is about $13 million. So for most people in West Virginia, we're under 13, but those above that, if you do something such as an AB trust or a family trust, it allows you to double that exclusion. So if you have a $25 million estate, having an AB trust inside of a living trust allows you to still work out favorably in terms of estate taxes. Are there other tools that people should consider when they're getting close to that time of end of life? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. There's trust should be some of the things you do, but you need to have a personal property memorandum. You know, like I'll give you an example. Everybody has personal assets. And so you might have guns, you might have jewelry, you may have all kinds of things. And so you want to make sure that we know exactly where that goes to. Because I remember a long time ago, one of the very first estates I ever helped settle, um, 
the family ended up drawing straws. And they said, hey, look, whatever number you have, you can go through the house and just pick anything. Well, unfortunately, some of the children lived outside of the home. Some of the children lived inside of the home. And so some of the things that the child who lived inside the home thought they were going to get ended up being taken by the ones outside because they wanted that memorabilia for their family. And so what I tell people is you got to be exact because if you just leave it to your estate, that's not good enough. Another thing that I tell people, legacy videos, and this is real easy. Legacy videos are something that we help our clients do all the time. And that is take, you know, your camera and, and talk about things, you know, that were special to you because we all know financially we can leave instructions, but you're a kid. There's nothing better for them, like when, like we have the wealth portal we, that we put everything on. And when a child comes to me, no matter what the age is, they'll say, hey, look, I don't know how much you knew about my mom and dad. If you knew that I was the, you know, the person that was going to inherit this or whatever. I said, no, I said, I knew everything. I said, all of your parents' assets are in here. All the instructions are in here. But in addition to this, one thing they wanted me to show you was this legacy video. And every time I show them, that their parents took the time to actually speak directly to them about important time periods in their life and what it meant to them. I mean, that is the one thing that means the most to them. They'll always say, how did my parents know about this? And I said, in fairness, this is one of the things we do is we talk to them. Legal documents are important, memorandums are important, but legacy videos, because this addresses the heart and there's nothing better than that. Yeah, I mean, it could be something uh, such as, you know, hey, we always went to the WVU games together. Yep. We want you to have our season tickets. Yeah, to anything like that is a big, big deal. Anything that's so personalized. Because, you know, we all know, like, IRAs have beneficiaries and everything like that. But things like that, the things that meant a lot to them. Maybe one of them worked on cars, right. you know, a lot. And they didn't know, you know, like, because sometimes people have a collection of cars. But one child in particular, and, you know, you talk about that time period when you were in sixth grade and you showed them how to change those brakes for the first time how to do the carburetor you talk about being a special special moment and knowing that that's not only is it's being said live but it's also they have exact instructions of how it's going to be dispersed when it's going to be dispersed and why it's going to be dispersed so that's a great addition to your legal documents that you have is there any other tools? I mean, that That's such a great idea, the legacy videos. Well, I, I think the one thing in particular, no matter what you do, is you got to be thinking about having a holistic wealth strategy, no matter what it is. You know, a lot of times people will go out and, and they'll get investments because the reason why they get investments is because investments have to do with their lifestyle. and But they're not thinking about, okay, what are things that's going to impact you? And so, as I mentioned, whether it's the living trust, whether it's a durable uh, medical power of attorneys, whether it's a uh, testamentary trust. Because the one thing, I'll give you a great example. Today, I don't care how well-educated your children are, when they get an inheritance, that's like hitting the lottery. And people want to spend it. And the one thing as a professional advisor, what I tell people is, I'm never going to let my child take my lifetime of labor and buy them this beautiful Lamborghini a week after I die. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. They want it. But I didn't work all my life for that. So what I did work for, though, is I worked all my life to, to perpetuate that wealth for multiple generations. And so one of the things I always tell people is think about how you want your, your assets to be dispersed, whether you want it to be direct where they can go out and buy that Lambo, which good for you if you want that, or graduated. Graduated means that at a certain age. But the one thing I don't like about graduated is let's say you have that ex, that, that child, my lovely daughter. I have two amazing daughters. And they get married, and for some reason, baby daddy's not doing well, okay? And he knows that I'm in the picture, but I'm going to die. So he stays around just long enough so he can fight for that money. I don't want him to be able to fight for that money. So what I want to do, instead of making it graduated, I want to put it into a perpetual trust, a testamentary trust, where they can get a lifetime of income from it and use it for major things, but never spend it or protect it from that person. Again, John, always great insight. And, you know, folks, it's really difficult to talk about some of these subjects, I think. But I, having somebody with uh, John's experience and having somebody kind of on an outside looking in helping guide you there's there's a lot of value there you're on welcome to ask the expert 
with John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. Until the next time, have a great day. Ask the Experts featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwb.com.